magnetic gears are being developed to replace mechanical gears. Mechanical gears are noisy, require lubrication and frequent maintenance. Magnetic gears are contactless. They require no lubrication, and they slip when overloaded. A conventional magnetic gear is shown, which consists of three concentric parts. An outer rotor, an inner rotor, and a set of steel pole pieces. The rotors have permanent magnets, with radial magnetization directions. Usually, the outer rotor has more magnetic poles than the inner rotor. The rotor with more poles spins slower but develops a higher torque. Hence, the terms. Low speed and high speed rotors are used. The number of pole pieces is the sum of pole pairs of both rotors. If the sum is additive, the rotors turn in opposite directions. If the sum is subtractive, the rotors turn in the same direction. Usually, the pole pieces are stationary. For some applications such as variable transmission, all the three parts rotate but at different speeds. Dividing the number of pole pairs on the low speed rotor, over the number of pole pairs on the high speed rotor, gives the gear ratio. In the schematic previously shown, the low speed rotor is the outer rotor, and it has 20 magnetic poles or 10 pole pairs. The inner rotor is the high speed rotor with 4 pole pairs. 10 plus 4 is 14, and this is the number of pole pieces. The gear ratio is 10 over 4 or 2.5.